Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fancy Friday. If you can't already tell by the title of this video and the fact that I'm wearing Minnie Mouse ears, today's video is going to be a Minnie Mouse ear collection. So if you guys haven't checked out my very first video, I did a 50 facts about me, and one of my facts was that I love Disney and I make custom Minnie Mouse ears. So today I'm going to be going in the order that I show you. I'm going to be showing you all of the Disney official ears, and then I will be showing you all of my custom ears that I made myself. If you guys want a video on how to make custom ears, just comment down below. And also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So, let's get into it. So, the very first pair that I'll be showing you are the ones that I'm actually wearing. These are the Rose Gold Minnie Mouse ears. They came out at Disneyland, and I love these ears so much. You guys know, like, I love rose gold, I love pink, and these ears are absolutely adorable. Like, I can picture myself wearing them in front of Cinderella's castle at Disney World. They are just so comfy and amazing. I love them so much. The next pair I'm showing, I actually got these in Disneyland. These are the Fuchsia Magenta colored ears. The sequins, they have sequins on them, and it's a big plush bow. And these ears are also really comfortable. I love these. And this was actually the first ever pair of Minnie Mouse ears that I've ever gotten. And they are so special, and I just love them so much. The last pair of the Disney official ears that I have are the Aurora Princess ears. And I absolutely adore these ears. They are a light pink sequin ears, and instead of a bow, what I really like about these ears is that they actually have a tiara, like a foam little crown in the center, and I really like that about these ears because obviously, like, I love princesses and stuff. It's always been a childhood dream to have ears like this, I guess, from Disney. And they're also Aurora ears, and she is one of my favorite Disney princesses. So the fact that I have these, it makes it really special. The one thing that I really want to get from the new Disney Minnie Mouse ears are the millennial pink ones. I will insert a photo over here. But that's what they look like. And I think they are so cute and adorable, and I really hope to get a pair. But anyways, let's get into the custom ears. So the very first pair of custom ears I ever made were these Disney Marie ones. And Marie is my favorite Disney character of all time, and it was really easy to make these ears, surprisingly. Make sure to comment down below, like I said earlier in the video. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I make these. I personally like to hand stitch them myself because I don't own a very good sewing machine, so I always prefer to hand stitch. It's just been a thing that I like. But anyways, um, I have this Marie fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I also made the bow. So it's this nice magenta fuchsia color, and they're so comfy. I will be doing a close-up so you guys can get a better look at these ears, but I was so proud of these ears when I made them. Like, I was not expecting them to come out this good for my first try, but they did, and I think I've actually gotten better as I went along, because I have more custom ears than I do of the Disney official. So, if you guys want a video, make sure to comment down below. So, the next pair of custom Minnie Mouse ears that I have are these adorable um, Minnie Mouse ears. And for this one, I went with more of like a red, pink, and black theme since the fabric has Minnie Mouse on it and she's in a red little polka dot outfit. It's super cute and I think that what really puts this together is the black bow. I really think that it makes the ears pop because normally I would have not put a black bow, I guess. I probably would have put a red bow, but I think that would clash with her outfit too much. So I'm really happy that I decided to go with the black bow because I really think it makes these ears stand out more. Next pair of ears are these Disney princess ears. And you guys know I love Disney princesses. It's always been a childhood dream to grow up and be a Disney princess. I don't know if anyone else has done that, but I've always wanted to be a Disney princess. But the next closest thing is just wearing ears with them on it. 
So I have these Minnie Mouse ears and these ears have Rapunzel, Aurora, Snow White, Cinderella, Belle, and Tiana on them. And I love these ears. I'm really proud of these ears. These are actually one of my favorites that I made because I really like how I added the lighter medium pink colored bow because I really think it makes um, this side of it pop out with Aurora and her dress. I love it so much and all these princesses have a deep meaning in my heart. Like, where is she? Tiana. Um, I actually went to see Princess and the Frog with my dad, so that's kind of our movie. My mom and I, we really like to talk about Snow White, so that's kind of our thing. And so many more memories, and of course Cinderella, she's my favorite Disney princess. So these ears are very memorable, and they have a special place in my heart. So the last pair of custom ears in this collection that I have are my Cinderella ears. Now, I made these ears with my cousin, and I'm going to be adding rhinestones to these ears, but I was so proud of this. Like, this one is probably going to be my favorite because it's inspired by my favorite Disney princess, Cinderella, but I'm so excited. These are the ears. They are, they kind of look like bridal ears, but that's why I'm going to be adding rhinestones so they don't look too much like the bridal Minnie Mouse ears. But I have a blue, beautiful blue actually, um, tool bow, and a jewel slipper in the center that I added, and this adorable, adorable um, satin like material that I used to sew together. And then it's on a white headband, and I absolutely love these ears. I can't wait to finally finish them. And I'm going to be adding some silver and blue rhinestones to these ears. I might even add a few butterflies because these ears are not just inspired by the original movie, they're inspired by the live action movie. So I'm very excited to finish these ears. So I don't really know what ears you guys would like to see me make, so make sure to comment down below. Comment if you guys want me to do ears something like this where it has like Disney characters on it, or if you guys want me to do ears inspired by a Disney character and like a tool bow. So make sure to comment down below because I really don't know because I love making custom ears so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Disney Minnie Mouse Ear Collection. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye!